Hello and welcome back to Firestorm Games. In this video we'll be showing you how you can paint the Death Guard from the Dark Imperium box set to a tabletop standard, and we'll be using the Citadel range of paints to do so. After assembling your miniature, the first task is to prime it, and for this I've used the Death Guard Green Spray Primer, because this will give us a really nice coloured base coat that we can build up from in later steps. Alternatively, you could use a regular primer, followed by a brush applied layer of Death Guard Green. The first step in painting our Death Guard is to dry brush Ogren Camo across the surface of the miniature. This will pick out all of the details on the miniature very quickly and very easily. Now dry brushing is a very simple task. Simply take a small amount of paint on the tip of your brush, remove most of the excess by dragging it onto a piece of paper, and then lightly drag it across the miniature with only a small amount of paint left on the brush. This will accumulate on those raised sections and really bring out those details very quickly and very easily. In this next step, I'll now be base coating several areas on the miniature, notably the smoke, any cloth, and also any exposed skin on the miniature, and I'll be base coating all of these areas using Celestra Grey. As with all of the base coats they'll be applying in this tutorial, I would recommend creating a mixture of paint and water. Roughly one part paint to one part water. So just take a brush load of paint and a brush load of water and mix them together before applying to the miniature. This will ensure that you get the best coverage possible and not apply the paint too thickly so that it obscures the details. Continuing with our base coat, I'll now be picking out any tentacles on the miniature using Screamer Pink. You can also pick out the visor on the miniature as well using this paint, and remember to create that mixture of one part water to one part paint when applying this over the miniature. The next base coat I'll be applying on this miniature will be one of Abaddon Black, and we want to focus this base coat on the areas between the armor panels, but also any leather and wooden areas that there may be on the miniature. The next area of our Death Guard that I'll be painting will be the bony spikes protruding from the armour, and for these we want to start off with a base coat of Rakar Flesh. With all of the non-metallic base coats completed, we can now move on to painting some of the metallic areas, and for this we'll be starting off with a base coat of Balthazar Gold. Now we'll be applying this on many areas on the miniature, including the bells, the armour trim, and also some other details that you may find dotted about the miniature. Just remember, when using a metallic base coat, be very careful in how you apply it, as it can be quite difficult to paint over the areas if you do overspill. The final base coat that I'll be applying in this tutorial will be one of Lead Belcher, and we want to apply this over all of the remaining areas that haven't yet been painted. This includes areas such as the blade, the weapon stock, and also some of the detailings that you may find on the power pack. With all of the base coats completed, the next step is to apply some washes in order to enhance some of the detailing, and the first of these washes that I'll be applying will be one of Reichland Flesh Aid. Now I'll be applying this wash over any exposed skin areas, and on this miniature it means the area around the stomach, but also the dangling severed head as well. The next wash that I'll be applying will be of Drakenhof Nightshade, and I'll be applying this to the smoke emanating from any incense burners. This wash will not only enhance the detailing in the smoke, but also give it a slightly bluish tinge as well. The final wash to apply on our Death Guard is one of Agrax Earthshade, and I'll be applying this over any areas that we haven't already washed over. This wash will have two effects. It will pull into those recesses, enhancing the shading, but it will also stain the colour of the armour as well, giving it a dirty and grimy effect, which is perfect for the look of the Death Guard. And here we have the completed miniature. Now whilst the scheme won't win any competitions, it is a very quick and easy way of getting your miniatures painted and onto the tabletop. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more tutorials in the future, please do let us know in the comments below, as well as hitting that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of our future videos. You can find all the paints, brushes and miniatures used in this tutorial on the Firestorm Games web store, which you can find a link to in the description below. All that's left to say is thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again on Firestorm Games.